I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm ready when you are, bud. Alright. I named my speech The Traveling Man for two reasons. I'll explain the first one now and the other one later. When I was little, my mom watched nine kids. So whenever she would turn her back, I would always take off. I mean, like I was two years old and I'd take off and go down the road to the neighbor's house. Well, the worst time was I was four years old and my mom watched this kid. He was six, I think, Mitchell. And uh, me and him decided that we were going to go to his house because he had a Super Nintendo. We wanted to go play video games at his house. So we took off. And my mom's freaking out. She called my dad, had him come home from the shop. And my uncle ended up picking us up. And when we got back to the house, my mom's freaking out. Where'd you guys go? Where'd you guys go? The only thing I said was, Mom, we were good. Every time a car went by, we jumped in the ditch. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is my family. Um, we'll start with the newest additions. Um, this is my sister, Lisa's son. Chase Paul, and this is my older brother Tom's son, Cameron, as you can tell he's a little shit. I don't know why, nobody knows why, but he decided to stick his tongue out in this picture when my mom took the picture, he said, with my dad. Um, that's my mom, Kelly, that's my dad Tom, that's my half-sister Lisa, my dad had her before he got together with my mom. My older sister Trisha, and then that's my sister Lisa's husband, Jared, and that's my brother's fiance, Amanda. Well, he is a little hellion, isn't he looking? in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Butterworth Hospital. Um, I was raised in Pearson, Michigan until I was about six. And then we moved to uh, Howard City and I went to McNaughton Elementary School. It's not a very big town either, Howard City or Pearson. They're, seriously, if you blink going through Pearson, you'll miss it. Once I hit about 11, uh, we started moving around a lot. I didn't know why at the time, but uh, my mom, after we started moving around a lot, she got diagnosed with bipolar, so she could no longer work. And then shortly after that, my dad got his third adventure drunk driving and went to prison. So at age 11, I probably moved six different schools. By between, age 11? Huh? By age 11? No, between 11 and 13. Oh my God. I moved probably six different schools from Detroit to Big Rapids and then back to Howard City. Um, my dad went to prison for third offense drunk driving, so at age 11, me and my brother had to take over his business. I started working every day when I got out of school. I would go work and help my brother, so that way my mom could pay the bills. Is that an automatic on a third? Uh, third offense? No. No. No, the guy that got sentenced before my dad actually had five offenses, and the judge gave him 90 days in jail. My dad got three and a half to five. The judge didn't like my dad. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of power. Um, when I was about 16, my mom decided that we were going to move to Lowell because Lowell was a good school. She wanted to get away from everything. Moved to Lowell my freshman year. I, or we moved to Lowell my sophomore year. I started playing football there. I played up until my junior year. We won a state championship. I played defensive tackle. Ford Field is amazing, especially the play on. Um, my junior year is also the year that I actually had both parents 
they weren't. My dad finally got his stuff together, and he was there for me all the time. But my mom was actually starting to get better. Um, I didn't play my senior year because I was more concerned about working than playing football or doing any other sports. I decided uh, after I graduated, I decided to move up here to Mount Pleasant to be with my girlfriend, Michaela. Pure trouble. Um, yeah, she is. <laughs> I started school here. This is my first semester in college. Um, on February 8th, I asked her to marry me. And she said yes. Um, probably going to get married when I finish college, a couple months after I finish college. My life is just beginning. Well done. Well done, well done.